Twin Cities United Way has made some recent cuts in its Safety from Family Violence initiative. Those cuts have left local shelters like Alexandra House with large gaps to fill for funding. Taka has the story. Wow. That was Connie's first response in learning that Alexandra House would lose $238,000 a year over a three-year period. We expected that we might get a reduction in our funding, knowing that there had, they had this shortfall they were dealing with. And we had been notified that there were, we were going to be having a conversation. Um, so I anticipated that, but I had um, not anticipated that our entire grant would be cut. So that was a shock. The cut stem from the Greater Twin Cities United Way's decision to end its Safety from Family Violence Initiative, which helped fund shelter like Alexandra House right here in Blaine. If those funds aren't replaced, Alexandra House may have to face some tough decisions. If we're not able to um, fill that funding gap, we'll be looking at um, how do, you know, are we going to need to eliminate positions, which means eliminating services, because as, an, as a service agency, our, the majority of our budget is salaries for staff who provide services to those who need our help. And Alexandra House services go beyond the shelter, reaching over 22,000 people a year. But a lot of most of our work is out in the community, working with folks in the community and providing um, education. We're working obviously in the schools. Um, we're providing a lot of services to students in the schools, whether that's education, support groups, one-on-one -on -one advocacy. Um, so we do, we reach a lot of folks through our community education and our and our um, training pieces as well. Connie explained that although the United Way exceeded their goal by $2.2 million this year, a lot of those donors asked for funds to be directed towards specific causes, leaving a $6 million shortfall. Alexandra House is focusing now on ways to make up that loss. No, I think it's just really important for the community to know whether that's individuals, you know, local businesses, corporations, um, local government. Um, we're facing this this loss, um, a significant loss of funding, and we're looking to our community um, for help in filling that gap, and um, we're here. For North Metro TV, Taka Zen reporting. Alexandra House is still looking for various ways to replace the loss and says community members can help with volunteering and donations.